Hey there, y'all. Welcome to What Chelsea Eats. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to share with you what I would do if I were anemic or suffering with low iron deficiency or bleeding heavy today, right now. So if you want to see how I make this tea, stay tuned. Okay, so I am in the process of transitioning into menopause. I have not bled since the end of January, and right now it is October 28th, I believe, is the date that I'm recording this video. So I one of these products I'm not going to put in this tea because if I put it in there, I'm not going to be able to drink it. The other thing is I don't bleed heavy when I when I do bleed and I haven't struggled with that for a very long time because of the things that I teach you on this channel. So if you are bleeding heavy, if you are somebody who has struggled with it for a long period of time, just do what I tell you to do and that will be a thing of the past. Same thing with the anemia, but it but I did reverse iron deficiency anemia by adding herbs to my lifestyle. So the first thing I would do if I was anemic is I would get to the root of the problem, which is I would do whatever I could to stop the bleeding, which is changing your lifestyle. We're not gonna go into that in, the, in this video. But what I would do is I would take the bleeding formula. The bleeding formula is right here. That's the bleeding formula. And what this does is it helps stop or slow heavy bleeding. There is a therapeutic dose and an emergency dose on the package that you can use. But what I am going to recommend that you do is take the herb every day as a therapeutic dose with the rest of the iron herbs to help stop the heavy bleeding and to actually reverse, help reverse the iron deficiency. So, so I take the bleeding formula and I would, this is a regular kitchen spoon, and I would take four rounded spoons and I would put it in this jar that you have me right here. This is a four cup mason jar that we have right here. That's what that is, a four cup mason jar. So I would put four spoons of the bleeding formula in there. Like I said, I'm not using the bleeding formula right now because I don't bleed. And even when I was bleeding, I wasn't bleeding heavy, so I didn't need it. So what I will use is the iron herbs, which are absolutely amazing whether you're bleeding or not. We lose blood every month through when we have our menstrual cycle, and we also lose blood every month just because blood cells in our body die off and our bone marrow has to make new blood every every month, really. It's making blood new blood all the time. So it's helpful to, to add iron, herbs with iron in it in, in your body to help your burn, bone marrow along with helping your blood to grow or to build. So if you have low iron, this combination is going to assist in that process. So the next thing that I would be adding to this is the Bye Bye Anemia. So I have my Bye Bye Anemia herbs in a jar and I'm just gonna add four rounded spoons. You see that spoon? Four. So I put four in there. I think I put four in there. <laughs> I might've lost track, but the goal is to get four in there. The next one is to use this powerful herb called stinging nettle and I sell it in my store but this is my stash that I keep in my medicine cabinet and I use four suggest so using four okay so we've got the stinging nettle in there and lastly this is excellent because of the season that we're in too the cold season and this is elderberries elderberries so I take four spoons. You see that? You add, let me see if you, can you even see that? There you go. So there's the herbs mixed down into that jar. 
And the thing is, is you can, you can add more herbs. So say you are on the womb healing tea. You can add your womb healing tea. Put four spoons of womb healing tea in there. If you're on your liver herbs, you can add your liver herbs. Put the liver formula in there. But add four teaspoons of liver herbs. Now, this is going to be a good... This is going to be a big herbal infusion. So the way I suggest that you use this is once you have poured your hot water over the herbs and I'll show you in just a second. So we're going to pour the hot water over the herbs and fill it, fill the jar up. So I filled my jar. And what I'd like to do is take my spoon and agitate the herbs to get them down into the water. Put the lid on and let that sit for at least four hours. You can let it sit overnight. You can let it sit for 24 hours. You can let it sit for two days. It doesn't matter. It's going to infuse into that tea. But what I like to do is at night before I go to bed, put this herbal infusion together pour the hot water over it and in the morning strain it and sip it throughout the day so that's how i drink my herbs that's how i recommended everybody drink their herbs i even have one of those thermoses i sell them on my website where you can put the herbs in put your water in and then when you're ready to drink you can just pour your tea out and it strains the herbs so you could go to whatchelseaeats.com and click on herbal blends to get any of the herbs here. So what I wanted to mention though is if you are struggling with the iron deficiency anemia, do this every day and watch how your life changes. Watch how your energy comes back. Watch how the herbs that God gives us from the earth help to transform your your body. When I was suffering with iron anemia, iron deficiency and anemia, the thing that I struggled with the most was I would go to the doctors, get my blood drawn, they would test my blood. And of course, every iron indicator was and hemoglobin, all my blood levels were always low, very low in the tank, as a matter of fact. And all they, the only thing they had to offer me were three things, iron pills, iron infusion, or blood transfusion. And none of it worked consistently. Although I never got a blood transfusion, I did, I did do the iron infusion. And I did take the iron pills, but it never worked. The iron infusion would help for a few like a few months but all the while my iron was still dipping down underneath that level within three month period and so it wasn't solving the problem so what solved the problem was me changing my lifestyle and taking iron rich herbs every single day that's what helped those are the two things that helped and also I did other things that I teach in my uh, coaching programs, but if even if you don't know what those are or don't do any of those things, if you do the two things that I just told you, which is change your lifestyle, meaning what you put in your what you're putting in your mouth, and you drink iron rich herbs, there is no way that your body cannot recover. Also, you can soak these herbs a second time. So say you drink these herbs. You can strain them and put them right back in the jar and pour some more hot water over them to get more nutrition out of the herbs. Now, it won't be as strong as it was the first time, but you are still pulling nutrients out of these herbs. So I wanted to make sure that I told you that. And if you are struggling with iron deficiency and anemia, I'm here to tell you I'm a living testament that you can get rid of iron deficiency anemia. And if you know somebody who is struggling with it, please share this video with them. 
And if you like this video, please like it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and other videos that can help you with your health, with your womb health, with your health overall. Because what I find is, is that when people start taking care of their womb because of being sick in their womb area, their whole life starts to change. Their whole life begins to be healthy. So anyway, lots of love to you and I'll talk to you all soon. Take care.